What we have here is a traditional snake plant, which is a very, very popular uh, house plant right now. It's kind of blowing up in the design world. Uh, a lot of people are taking these home. You're seeing them at Home Depot. You're seeing them at Lowe's. You're seeing them at your local garden centers. Uh, they are one of the easiest plants to take care of. They are not picky or fussy when it comes to the location. 50 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. In a room, as long as it's got a little bit of light, it doesn't need to be direct. It can be pretty dark. They can cope with a lot of different light levels. But the trick with, with most houseplants is how to water them properly. So with a snake plant, uh, during the growing season, you want to water them moderately. And what that means is um, and less in the winter, what that means is you take you take your finger and you stick it down here in the soil and if you cannot feel that it is wet, if it's not, it's just a little bit damp in here, then it can be ready to water. You never want to water a snake plant when the soil is still wet. So what you'll do is you'll have a tray down here. It's in a plastic pot so that you can see it drain. So you want to evenly water it throughout the plant until it drains through the bottom. There we go. So you can see up here, if you look close, you can see the water draining out here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to wait until this finishes draining. This is the most important part and this is a mistake that most people make is they let the water sit in the tray beneath their plants and this will go for just about any plant. No plant wants this. You don't want them to have wet feet. So we take this plant, once it's there, finish draining, put it in the sink, you just dump this out And then you go ahead and put it back where it goes. You want to keep